No, I'm not gonna call it Nurse Triplets. It's called Nurse Brothers. Ain't that right, Bravo? Huh? Nurse Brothers? Yo, hold on, man. This guy was twerking at hard last night. He been drinking last night. Get up, man. Come on. Hey, get up, man. All right, hey, let me call you back. Bravo, man. Quit playing. I know you have a drinking problem, fool, but we don't do that on the kid on the video. Hey, hey, man. Hey, yo, Ma, call nine one one. Shit, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Man, you can't be going out like this, man. We need us on Nurse Brothers. Come on. Get out of here, man. Let's go. You know what, man? I seen your Facebook chicks. I'm not getting close to that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Man, what are you doing? Messing with my sister's tanning stuff, man. And drinking? Really? Five, twenty, nine, thirty. Come on, man. Get up. Man, come AD, are they here? They're here. Alright, get up. Let's show our family how we do it. Now, first off, my mouth is clean. Yeah. That's what Ray I thought. A beef, okay? No, I saw some crumbs this, back there. Dude, see this beard? You don't want to know what falls out of that beard. <laughs> this disgusting, clean, disgusting. Okay? 2009, I had food in there. I'm not going to lie. Disgusting. So what's going to happen? The reason why we did that, just to show everybody out there, that's what's going to happen. You can find someone unresponsible on the streets, in the hospital. And, and what can you not do as a nurse? Do not freeze. freeze. Okay? Maybe in the hospital when there's cops showing it with guns, you want to freeze. But in the hospital, you don't freeze. Why? Because you're a leader, not a follower. You yes. have to be a good example. Do not be the incompetent nurse. No. Okay, the only way that's going to happen is practice, practice, practice role practice. play. Okay? Hey, remember in the remember in school? Sims. Remember how we had Sims? Teachers were there, always watching. Grade A, pass, easy. In real life, you're going to freeze. Because something completely different. I know I froze. I'm not going to lie. I did freeze. No, okay, I did freeze one time, but I got a little nervous, man. Why you was... say one time? Okay, twice, but I got scared. Why are you talking like that accent? I got scared, man, because you know I wasn't from uh, from uh, Florida, okay? Okay. So let me tell you real quick. So when we do this, you got to make sure that you don't freeze. It's very important. People are watching. Okay. So what's the first thing you're gonna do? You walk in and that patient's unresponsive. You gotta shake him, shake him, storm him, rub him, whatever you gotta do, smack him. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> pull, pull the foley a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> jank it. Just jank it a little bit. Yes. No. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But yes, if you <laughs> see that unresponsive, <laughs> you gotta activate that emergency response. You know what I'm thinking about? Getting the nasal cannula and just pulling it up a little bit on the nose to make sure. Don't do that. Okay. Do not do that. In the hospital, we'll call it cold blue. Yes. Okay? In our hospital. And on the street, if they're unresponsive, you yell AED or call 911. All right. Plain After simple. they're unresponsive and you call activate alert emergency response system, <laughs> you're checking the pulse. How long uh -huh. are you checking for? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And why? why? Not long in the 10 seconds. What no. has research shown? They say right now in law states cab. Chest compressions, airway breathing. Not airway breathing circulation. Not anymore. Chest compressions. Why? You gotta cab. push down two, uh, two inches on that heart because it perfuses the whole body into what important area? The brain. The brain. Even though my mama thinks that I got a brain. No. So he uses mine on the weekends, okay? Hey, what's <laughs> Just in what? The brain. That's it. Get that blood circulating, okay? So it's very important. So two inches deep. Two inches, that's Sorry, it. Sorry, girls. I know two inches usually is not what you want to no, hear. No, you want to go deeper. But in this case, Two inches. Two inches. Okay. And the reason three, four, crack ribs. Yeah. We don't want that. And sometimes in the hospital, as a nurse, you gotta know if the patient's DNR. It's okay. very important. You don't need to give chest compressions. Do not be that fool of a nurse that is doing chest compressions on a patient that is DNR. No. You yeah. will get chewed out. You will get in trouble, and you want that license no. lost. You don't want that. No. So make sure, make sure the patient's not DNR. And if um, you're gonna do chest compressions, you gotta continue that, and you know, do it straight. Keep your arms straight. Yes. Keep them level. Okay. The ratio in the thirty chest mm -hmm. compressions. To two breaths. Yeah. So 30 to two. And you're going to keep going. 30 over to two. Over. You got to cycle. 30 to two. Until in, our, in the hospital, the crash card shows up. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then 30 and two. That's it. And you keep doing that and you cycle back and forth, you know. 30 and two. That's it. Don't I'm forget. Two 30 year old nurses. Yeah. I'm 24. 30 and two. In the club, maybe. In the club. No. Real <laughs> life. 30 nurses. 30 and two. That's how we do it. 30 compressions, two inches deep. What are we going to do? Cab. What's Cab. the first thing? First thing. First thing. Pulse. 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 Cap, compressions, which is chest compressions, airway, tilt back, airways clear, boom, boom. Your beds. okay, breathing, boom, keep going, crash and you card. keep going until the doctor arrives and all that other good stuff, and from there, that's when they shock. But right now, we're just keeping it simple and just to let you guys know the basics. Of remember, you gotta CPR. practice. Okay. If you're in the grocery uh, store and you're pushing that cart, boom, yeah. think about what do I do if that patient fell down, boom. Boom. You go straight role to play. it. Role play. Role play. It's about practice. We're gonna do it's it. about practice. It's about repetition. Because yeah. practice makes perfect. Yes, and it does. And we're gonna do it one more time, alright? I'm not gonna do the whole thing. What do you do when someone's unresponsive? Go. Back Boom. Up. Activate emergency response system. Code blue in the hospital. Yep. And code blue in the hospital. After that, check for the pulse. If you check for pulse more than 10 seconds, it's not too, it's not too much. Two, 10 seconds is just enough. After that, chest compressions. Boom, 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 boom. Keep going straight. Dirty. Dirty. And then after that, what do you do? Breathing. And then circulation. Tilt the head up, give two rescue breaths, make sure that chest rises and comes back down, and you continue to do that. Go back to 30 chest compressions. Boom, boom, two inches. Boom, boom, boom. boom. I don't care how repetition that sounds, but that's important. That's what you need to know as a nurse. 30 and 2. That's Nurse it. Brothers, mm -hmm. 2, 
30 year olds, remember that? Yeah. You won't forget when you're in the setting. Okay. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and show everybody in this good video. Thank My you very much. YouTube nurses. Peace. Adios. Bye.